Hello and welcome back to Paris Set Me Free, mini uh, Paris photo tutorials and today I'm going to look at uh, an interesting photograph, at least I hope you think it's interesting. It's this one that you're looking at right now, uh, but first of all I'm going to ask you a question. Where did I take it from? Obviously if you don't know Paris it could be a bit tricky to answer that, but if you do then you may be thinking, okay, I know that big white building in the in the top there, and uh, maybe I know that one that's just below it as well, so therefore it must be around about... Let me see... Okay, here, yes. So there's Paris, there's the river. We're in the north of Paris. I'm going to click here, and it's going to tell me to go to 12 Boulevard Houseman. All right. Let me uh, let me zoom in on that. I'm not going to zoom in so that you can see the street view just yet. I'm going to show you something else. Now what's interesting is, if you see yourself here at uh, Boulevard Houseman, this happened to be where the hotel of um, a couple of people who were doing a photo tour with me were staying, a couple of nice Aussies. Um, I arrived here and I was just crossing the road to go to them and I looked up this road here. Now just follow me on this one. I looked up here, kept on following it up, kept on following it up, got to a church, Notre Dame de Lorette, all right, which is that church right there. And what's that behind it? Well, if we carry on our little virtual trip, okay, there's the church. We're carrying on up this road, I guess. It's almost as straight as an arrow, isn't it? It's bending over that way a bit, so I better sort of veer off slightly. Carry on this way. Carry on this way. <laughs> Can you believe it? And then you've got this wiggly stuff. That is actually the gardens of Sacré-Cœur. There it is, Basilique de Sacré-Cœur. So what we've done in this photograph is looked straight up those roads and seen uh, Notre Dame de Lorette with uh, Sacré-Cœur towering above it. Um, all in the context of this uh, this street here. Now, uh, some very interesting photographic decisions have to be made here, um, including things like what do we crop? What's the what's the final crop going to be? What uh, what format are we going to go for? Um, what about all this traffic? What do we do with that? Uh, what about the lighting? This is pretty light and this is pretty dark. So all of these things have to be thought about. Uh, let me show you. Well, let me let me just let me just uh, discuss those in a little bit more detail. Um, what I'm thinking is basically with the traffic, do we get rid of it or not? And if if we don't, what is that saying about the photograph? Is it saying um, this is a busy street? Uh, maybe full of pollution and so on, nothing very romantic about that delivery vans and so on, and yet look at this stunningly beautiful thing at the end of the street. Uh, what about the cropping? What do we do with this? We've got this sliver of sky, well it goes into, it's a sliver stroke wedge of sky, isn't it, which is so typical of Paris with these high high uh, buildings and sometimes narrow streets, sometimes they're very wide boulevard but there's plenty of narrow streets as well which give you that effect. Uh, what is great about Paris is that very often you look down at one of these things and you've got a spectacular building at the end of them, which is the case here. Kind of lucky, kind of by chance, but I mean that happens so often that you just have to keep your eyes open for a few minutes as you're walking through Paris and you'll see something like this. Um, so another option, another thing we have to ask ourselves is where do we chop it? Looking at this, I mean, well, one the, one of the first options is do we make it a tall and thin picture or a more of a panoramic one? I could probably chop here, chop that top mm, quarter of the picture off 
including getting rid of this not very romantic HSBC sign, sorry HSBC, and probably getting rid of the, most of the traffic as well, and just leaving perhaps the top of that those columns there, get chop it off of that red van, which is decidedly unromantic, uh, and yet keep in these, these typical street signs, look, press a read, don't know what that says, tabac maybe, and then there's a, you know, there's a typical, uh, that's probably a, it's either baguette or it's saying tabac. Uh, so that that's one of the things I could have done. Another thing I could do is chop it this way, make it quite tall and thin to echo the, the sliv sliver of this. So I could chop it there, but that would lose some of this local colour. I could chop it there. Now if you look, there's a couple of these dark long windows here and these long columns here. Well, you could say they echo each other in a kind of slight diagonal. You could also say they don't do much for the photograph. Uh, I could theoretically chop them there and possibly there, making the thing much squarer. Uh, let me show you what I did. Now this kind of shows you what I did, but it kind of doesn't because, as you can see, I can go up there and down there. And, in other words, I've made it a rather squarer composition. It's not totally square, but it's it's getting there. Uh, let me show you a version of that where you can see it all. There it is. That's the full size of it. And you can see I've, I've chopped off bits off the edge, and I don't think I've chopped anything off the top or the bottom, have I? Look, there's the lights of that, that vehicle there, and that goes up to a couple of a couple of blocks above the HSBC sign, and the original is thus. So, uh, yeah, I've chopped a slight sliver off the top there, um, but practically nothing off the bottom, and definitely quite a bit off the sides. So, what I went for was a squarer thing. Why did I do that? Well, I'm going to try and remember why I did it. I probably did it because I wanted to have this slightly off to the side. If you look at the way I took this shot, you can see that I'm more on this side of the street than this side, which is because I'm looking almost onto the side on to some of these uh, buildings which are jutting out, whereas here there's much more of a perspective there. You can almost see a, a triangle going like that and like that, which is what you get if you put yourself slightly off centre of a street. Um, quite a good thing to do really, um, and especially if you've got some point of interest, these diagonals here all lead you towards this point of interest, which is much more interesting if it's not slap bang in the middle. Just a, just a general rule of thumb. So that's what I wanted. I could have gone further and put this perhaps slightly higher up so that it's, it's genuinely um, a third of the way down and a third of the way in, but I didn't think it was too necessary and um, and I wanted to keep this this almost square composition. I hadn't done a square composition for a while and I, I felt I, it looked quite nice. Uh, so I wanted this sort of blocky feeling whereas and, and this, this light wedge coming in leading down to this incredibly beautiful building in amongst all of this pretty average you know nice enough looking but pretty normal Brazilian buildings and then suddenly there's these there's these two churches one piled on top of the other uh, I kept the traffic in as well why did I do that well I kind of did it to accentuate this everyday scene where suddenly you get this incredibly you know unexpected and beautiful building not not just one either two of the things uh, I like that um, as I'm running out of time I'm just going to quickly tell you about the other major thing I did can you guess one more chance looking at that's the final version and hang on there's the original just look at uh, the contrast between uh, between those two between the whiteness of the building there and the lightness of this and then look at the final version basically what I've done apart from sharpening it up I've bumped up the contrast and I've made this brighter and I've definitely made the darks darker to accentuate that feeling of surprise as you come along and you see uh, it it wasn't far off the truth to be honest, it was pretty dull here and this was high lit in the sun so I wasn't cheating too much and it's an unusual photograph for me, I, I'm happy with it and, uh, and it illustrates about three important photographic concepts. There you go! Thanks a lot for visiting, uh, see you again next time at parasetmefree.blogspot.com. Bye bye now!
Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre, je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre. Depuis que je suis à Paris...